911, where's your emergency? Uh, my girlfriend and her daughter fell in the river. New details tonight about a mother and young child who were saved from the Cuyahoga River Saturday thanks to a quick thinking kayaker. Isabel Lawrence spoke with that man and the first responders who were on the scene about exactly what went wrong. What started as a normal evening paddle for Darren Beatty turned into a rescue mission when he learned that two people had gone into the Cuyahoga River and couldn't get out. Beatty, a whitewater kayaker, has been paddling the river near downtown Kent for years. He describes the patch of water as one that requires a bit of experience to navigate. When he heard a young child had fallen in, with her mother going in after her, he immediately got into his kayak to help rescue them. So a lot going through my head, but you know, I think the, the biggest thing was just trying to work fast to, to get them out of the water because I, you know, if the mother was able, was not able to keep hold of the child, uh, I think things were going to get a lot worse uh, quickly. Beatty, a professor at Kent State University, said the mother was holding her child, both stuck at the tip of an island in the river, surrounded by dangerous pieces of wood. He says he was worried about the little girl's condition when he saw her. Two police officers jumped in to help, and Beatty was able to grab the child and hand her off to an officer before pulling the mom out to safety. One of the officers who jumped into the water, Samantha McNulty, told me that she gives a lot of credit to that kayaker for being at the right place at the right time. But this is not the first rescue that's happened at this river. I was speaking with the Kent Fire Chief. He told me specifically about four years ago, there was one summer where they got 20-plus calls to this river. Since then, they've cleaned it up, made it safer, but still, those calls keep coming, emphasizing the importance of being safe when you're on the water, making sure you're watching your footing, not being on the water alone, and if you have a boat or some sort of equipment, test it out on calm water first. In Kent, Isabel Lawrence, 3 News.